Welcome uh, once again on this Easter Sunday back to the Wagner Stadium in Amsterdam where our second quarter-final is another outstanding matchup between two great clubs with Rotweiss Cologne taking yeah. on Utrecht's Kampong. <laughs> Merlin Brooks OK. This is Kaspers making some space, good goalkeeping. Scramble, oh, what a chance. And uh, the shot from Kemperman has struck the defenders for there'll be a penalty corner to Kampong. But that was very nearly the opening goal. Out it comes, there's the shot. And a good save by a sprawling goalkeeper. Martijn Havenga took the shot on there. And... Uh, Victor okay, Ali diving away there to make the save. Hey. Is this the one for coming again? It's a missed trap. Casper shoots across the goal. He was no great save, but not with a follow-up. And it's Robert Kemperman who gives Kempong the lead. The goal's been coming for some time. They didn't stop the corner cleanly. But Kampong were not to be denied, they got the shot away on target. Let's watch it again here. <laughs> and it's given as a goal. There was a touch off the defender, I think, and uh, Kampong have got a second goal here. I'm not sure who's going to uh, be credited with it. They don't care if they're in the grandstand. Well, it's gone right the way uh, through it. Sander Devine. Oh, it's just the edge of the stick. Now, Grambush sets off, going straight down the centre. Roar's made a good run to his left. This is Roar, shoot! Oh, wonderful! Well, we said don't write them off. Chris Roar has suddenly come to life here, and what a finish that was. He flashed that pass, the international goalkeeper of the year. Great shot there, and uh, what a finish, it's game on again here. Bang, pick that one out. Even David Hart at full stretch couldn't stop that one. Somebody will make a judgment call just how fit he is. Out it comes, Havenga shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Taken off the line by the body of the defender. The unfortunate Matthias Muller has taken that one in the body and the Polish umpire points to the penalty spot and Kampong have a chance here. It's Kampong with this one to restore their lead and it's Martijn Havenga on the penalty spot against Victor Ali in the Rottweiss goal. Havenga scores! All along the turf. Ali went the right way, but he couldn't keep it out. To be replaced by a, an alternate player. Jonker. He's drawn the goalkeeper out of position. Half chance here, shot comes in. It's another penalty strike, you know. That's it. I think it was Mura defending the goal. A last time, a bit from behind the goal afterwards, to be sure. Thank you. Difficult call on that uh, on that angle. You see the ball flashed in the back of the net, and then Pirate hung on to this uh, decision a fraction of a second longer. Marcin, I have a decision for you. Pouring over it I now. confirm your decision. Penalty stroke is the right decision, so Rotweiss Golden loses their return. Last time, Avenga went low to the keeper's left. This time he goes low, but to the keeper's right. Again, Ali goes the right way. But again, there's too much pace on it. And Kampong now 4-1 to the good. And surely they're on the way to Barcelona. Hey, hey, hey. players just hanging up, allowing the Kampong defender to bring the ball down. Now, Kampong have got numbers here. Bowens is at joining in. He's just come off the step. Shot goes in, goal for Kampong. Petras likes the goal scorer. All too easy. Rob Weiss had thrown players forward as they had to, of course. And uh, 
overload after overload for Campon. It's a showtime here for Kempong and their supporters. And Rodney's not will be taking on Harvest Ahuda tomorrow. In another Holland against Germany clash, if you will. And Polo Club will play Amsterdam. So there we have it, full-time score here. It's finished Kempong 5, Rottweiss Cologne 1. Kempenman, Merlenbrock. Two penalty strokes from Martijn Havenga and Luke's putting the icing on a very large Kampong cake today.